Hello everyone, I want to share a recycle, repurpose, reuse project with you today. I've got a whole heap of these edges of my spiral bound um, notepads. These are, you know, from my mixed media notepads. Look, a whole bag of these craft cardstock ones as well. I always um, keep them. They make wonderful, wonderful texture. And today I'm going to show you how to make some heart embellishments. I've done this before. I think I shared a video doing something very, very similar about four or five years ago, but um, I do want to give it um, another try. If you don't have any of these, just strips of mixed media paper or leftover card will work. You just want something that's going to give you some texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by gluing in fact i'll have it this way around some of these down to a piece of cardstock this is just regular cardstock and i'm just thinking i'm just going to grab a piece of parchment paper to catch the excess glue that will stop my paper my cardstock sticking to my under paper this is just regular 300 gsm cardstock and i'm going to glue it down with mod podge any type of, of glue will do you do want something quite strong though because um, these papers are quite thick i I'm going to apply a really generous layer. Now you can see I'm coming to the end of my Mod Podge and it's starting to go a bit gloopy, but you know, it's all texture, that's fine. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue on like this and I'm just going to stick these sheets down. Um, in fact, if I have it like this, then I can cut the edges off and I can reuse those once um, once it's dry. I'm going to overlap these as well, just for even more texture like this, adding glue over the top just to help it, help it stick. And I'm just going to do this until I've glued the whole page. I'm not worried about the um, shapes of these. They've come off different um, pads, so some have got small holes and some are slightly larger that's just absolutely great and you know where we've got some um, bits that are left over here as well we can reuse these let me just show you let me just cut cut these cut these off we can then glue these down here like like this it doesn't matter if if they're in bits um, again we'll overlap them slightly it's um it's all good it's more more texture in fact, I'll try and find one that's um, a similar size there, like, like that. And I'm just going to keep going until the whole page is filled. Now you can see here, I've glued all of my um, little strips down. That's how it looks. And I just want to use some gesso. I'm just using the um, De La Rani Graduate Acrylic. I don't recommend this. Um, just because mine has gone really lumpy and bumpy but you know that's okay mine's um, quite old it did go thick and bumpy quite early on and I wouldn't buy this again but I do want to just give this a coat of gesso um, trying to really thin that out because I want those little holes there to show through on my next layer but of course, because I've used matte medium, um, well, in fact, it wasn't, it was um, Mod Podge. It's got a shiny texture and I want to make sure that this is nice and matte for my next layer. And I've got myself here some um, oranges and pinks. We've got magenta, we have got um, Persian rose, uh, Venetian rose and matte orange. And I'm just going to put um, a little bit of this paint. Oh, my lid's broken on this one here. In fact, we can have some in both of the corners like this. I'm just going to spread a little bit of the paint around. We'll have some orange. Oh, that was a bit more orange than I wanted. Let's just put some um, over here. If Linda's watching, she'll be having a fit that I've just put my finger um, in it. <laughs> we'll have a bit of that um, there like that. And also some of the um, lighter pink as well, perhaps in the other corners. And seeing as I'm already dirty, I'm just going to blend this with my finger because I can then feel where the paint um, is going. And I want these colours to blend as well. You can see that I've got some orange um, on my finger. Let me just check that, um, yes, I am in camera shot. And I just want to get that paint right down into these grooves. I'm going to try and not think about where the paint um, is going. Let's try and blend it um, all around like like this get the orange in there as well you see and because these um, colors are all in the same color family i'm not going to end up with any any mud have some of that lighter pink as well just blend these colors together 
You could, of course, do this with a paintbrush um, if you wanted to. So I think I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just going to set that one um, aside to dry. And then I think we'll do one um, maybe in some greens and turquoises and that kind of thing. You see, now that um, I've started playing around with this, I can't, I can't stop because the paint really started to marble. I think I want some more of the magenta in the centre as well. Whoops, a daisy, not too, not too much. Yeah, I like that. And you're probably thinking, well, that just looks like a big hot mess at the moment. It won't, not by the time we've finished. You're just going to have to um, count on me for, for that one. Let's have some more down, down here as well. So I'm just going to set that off to one side to dry. Now for this one here, I want to use some um, blues and greens. My favourite colour, sky blue um, light. What else have I got? Um, I've got various other colours here as well. I like this one here, turquoise green. This is um, an Amsterdam acrylic as well. Amsterdam, I think, is my favourite brand of paint. I just, just love it. I don't think there's too much of um, of this one left. So I'd a bit over here. I'm not thinking about where I'm putting this either. And we'll have a bit of indigo as well. I've been brutal with my lids. I've broken them all off, but hey ho, it doesn't affect the paint. Um, and do I want a bit of white as well? Do you know, I think I do. Have I got any um, here? Here we are. This is just um, a cheapy Reeves paint. So let's add a bit, a bit of that as well. Have I got any other colours I'd like to use? Maybe some of this one here as well. Oh yes, I like that. That's um, that's nice. There we go. And again, same technique. I'm just going to rub this with my finger until all of those colours are blended together. I've got a few blobs, uh, globbies in here, but that's okay. Don't think about this. There's something really nice about getting your fingers um, in paint. I just want to show you what I'm doing now. I'm just dabbing this. Some of the paint was on quite thickly in some areas. So I've just grabbed a piece of kitchen towel and it's just giving me the most amazing texture. So I've just decided to go with it um, all over. Um, let's choose one of these. It really doesn't matter which one. Let's choose this one here. I've got myself a whole load of hearts that I cut out the first time I did this, um, I think. They're all freehand cut and I'll show you how I did that. I did it. Let me just move that out of the way. I got myself some cardstock, folded um, it in half like that, and then just freehand cut myself some hearts. So let's just do one here. So, you know, school style, the way that you did it when, when you were at school. And you can make them, you know, long or fat, any shape you like. Um, but that's how I made all of these. Let's just pop those away. And so what I'm going to do, which one did I say I was going to use? I'm just going to put some of these um, and I'm just going to be really careful about how I place them. And I'm just going to draw around my hearts and try and get as many of these hearts on the, the back of this card as I possibly can so that then I can cut them cut them out. Now you can see I've drawn around my hearts and now I'm just going to painstakingly cut them out. Well just look at all of these. I love them. They're really nice and sturdy. Messy on the back but you know that's okay. We can paint the back. Not um, a big deal. Um, but I want to make these even more gorgeous than they already are. Let's see what else we can do with these. I've got some sky blue light um, here and I'm just uh, tapping a small amount on to um, the top of a, a makeup sponge and I'm just going to apply some over my background here like this just to add a couple of highlights here and there. Doesn't that look pretty? Absolutely gorgeous. I love that. And it just highlights those um, those squares from the paper. I love that. Um, let's try a different colour. Let's see what it looks like with the um, pink on one of the blue ones. It doesn't really matter which um, which one. So we'll just add 
small amount over there like um, like this. And again, it just highlights that texture. You could do it in white as well. White would look um, really pretty. And let's try gold as well. I've got some um, Pebio gold paint here. What's this? Iridescent gold. Let's try adding um, a bit of that to the um, turquoise ones. Let's try this small, small one here. So I'm tapping most of it off. Oh, you see, that's gorgeous. I love the gold. That's really, really pretty. And again, it's just catching. Um, those little grooves. Isn't that just gorgeous? And we could add more um, gold as well around the um, outside of the hearts. So I'm going to go off and play with some of these and um, I'll come back to show you. Here are my hearts so far. Um, the turquoise ones have all had various shades of gold on them. I love those. I did experiment with the pink. I didn't like it. I ended up covering it over. Um, I tried experimenting with different colours on these as well, and it was the pale blue that worked. I did experiment with gold, but it just doesn't work with the colour tones. What I want to do next is I've got my Stays On um, ink pad in Midnight Blue, and I'm just going to grunge them up around the um, edges. Oh, Oh, has my ink pad dried out? No, I don't think so. It's just that I haven't used it for so long. And I'm just going to ink around the edges, which I think just, you know, frames it. I love that look. You could, of course, use um, dark paint if you wanted to. If you don't have um, ink, you can use any colour you like. Um, I'm going to do this with all of them and I'm going to do it to the um, blue ones as well. My ink pad is drying out. I'm going to have to... Uh, get um, a reinker. Never mind, it stops me being too too heavy-handed, which, as, as you all know, I do have a tendency to, to do. So that's what that looks like. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? And I think what I'll do when I've inked all of these up, I will sort of add maybe a tiny bit um, of gold around the edge as well. But aren't they pretty? So here are my finished heart embellishments. And I absolutely love these. The gold on that turquoise, I think, is absolutely beautiful. I think those are definitely um, my favourite ones. Now, after I turned the camera off last night, I decided that I wanted to add some gold to these. And it didn't really work um, on the paler colours where I'd added the blue. So I pulled out some of my cherry red paint and just went over some of the ones that I'd already created. And the gold just looks so much nicer on the darker red. I just love that one there. I've kept some of them plain and just added the gold around the um, outside. So now I've got um, a real mix in terms of the red ones. I think those are absolutely beautiful. I still do love that colour there though. Um, which is your favourite? Which ones do you like the best? Now, if you want to have a go at making heart embellishments, and you don't have any of these spiral bound um, waste. Um, as I've said, you can always um, use um, scrap pieces of cardstock like I showed you before um, and just attach those to a piece of cardstock or just grab yourself a, a cereal box, something thick um, that's going to give you a, a substantial embellishment like this and put your colours down and then pounce it as I did with um, a piece of kitchen towel because that really did give um, a beautiful texture um, as well. Now, I'll be back next week with a video sharing um, ideas for using heart embellishments in projects. I've got um, a couple of ideas up my sleeve. Um, but if you've enjoyed today's video, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up because it does let YouTube know that you like what I'm doing. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. But thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.